The light and natural coastal beauty of the outer beach of Cape Cod has inspired artists for over a century. In the final installment of our three-part series on the history and beauty of the Cape Cod National Seashore, producer Dave Frazier visits Provincetown to learn the history of this arts colony and to meet up with the Western Mass artist who has been painting on the outer Cape for close to 30 years. When I look back on, on my life and I think, this is, this is my job. I'm always telling people that, you know, I'm at work right now. I feel really fortunate. I get to go out and photograph. And every so often I step back and go, man, people, like, people are buying my work. That's pretty cool. That's, that's pretty cool. With its incredible light and colorful surroundings, the outer beaches of Cape Cod have been attracting artists for over a hundred years. At the tip, the town of Provincetown, an eclectic community that has been described as a place of contrasts, rugged and rural with a vibrant town center. It simultaneously provides artists with opportunities for both solitude and socializing. If you ask people if they know about Provincetown, Massachusetts, they'll usually say, oh, that's that gay place where people come for carnival and this and that. What I think a lot of people don't realize is that this is the oldest continuous art colony in America. No one else can say that except Provincetown. And when you cross that line into Provincetown, you've entered into an art mecca. The tip of the cape faces north, and that north light is what you know what artists are always seeking. So if you go back when there were no artificial lights, artists would build studios with skylights and windows facing north to get that really even, beautiful light. Julie Tremblay didn't set out to be a photographer, but during her undergraduate studies at UMass Dartmouth, she took an elective in photography and recalls the first time she looked through the viewfinder of a camera and found it was like looking through the window of another world. I like really clean compositions. I don't like a lot of complication. So for me, it's about um, negative space. It's about um, getting the essence of, the, of what I'm seeing and trying to like, get, get the viewer to understand what I'm seeing. I mean, if it's quiet, I want it to be quiet. And if it's vibrant, it should be vibrant. People come here for art. And so just being here, I get to benefit from all the people that came before me. And there were, you know, big, big artists that came, playwrights and writers that came before me. It's, it's just great to be in that sort of an environment. To be an artist in Provincetown means you are part of a colony. Charles Webster Hawthorne opened his Cape Cod School of Art in the summer of 1899 and taught his plein air method right on the town's waterfront. He had an influx of students that came, primarily women, who would come for a few weeks or a week, and they would paint on the pier, they would paint in plein air, which means painting out of doors. Often as many as 100 people watched as he dramatically demonstrated his theory of color and effects of light on an object, something artists today still recognize. The way the light bounces off the sand, the sand dunes and the sandbars on the bay. So you just get this abundance of sunlight hitting the area and then just spreading out and it's beautiful. Susan Tilton Pecora grew up in Marblehead, a seaside community on the North Shore of Massachusetts. She now calls Western Mass her home but has a love for the Outer Cape and shows her work regularly in galleries along Commercial Street in Provincetown. I like architecture and nature together, not just pure nature. If I paint a, a seascape, I tend to look for some architectural element in that, and I just love the combination. This is an attractive spot because you've got the sky, man-made structures, which I love, and the water and the reflections and the beach. You have all the elements to make a beautiful painting. I've painted this scene at sunrise, sunset. I've painted this scene and had people come and buy it right off my easel. Hey. Oh yeah! Greetings from Provincetown, Massachusetts. Art is everywhere in this small three square mile town at the tip of the Cape. 
and artists who come to Provincetown today are still looking at the same things that artists were looking at 100 or so years ago. How they depict it depends on their style and interpretation, but the landscape and the light remains the same. Any place you go walk into Provincetown, there's original artwork, whether it's a restaurant, one of the 50 or 60 galleries in this town. And if you're here to go to the beaches or go out to the dunes, that's what the art was, was inspired from. So the art is the connector between everything in Provincetown. 